Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and use um, those cute fonts that I've seen all over the place on Pinterest. Um, so I'll start from the beginning and show you how I do it. Um, so here's something I pinned recently that I haven't installed yet. I'll go to the post and um, this one's really nice. They have it linked um, down here where you can go to the fonts sometimes. You'll actually have to just Google for the like showboat font or something. They don't have it in there. Um, one thing I do is I tend to not install every single font. I only install the ones I love, but that's just me. <laughs> um, so I really like this sail font. So I'm going to right click and open that one. Um, most of the time they're free. Occasionally you run across one that's not. I've never paid for one because there's enough free ones. Um, so what I do is, um, it depends on the font site, but wherever you can just click download. Um, then on mine it brings up this little download in the bottom. Um, if it doesn't, you'll have to go to your downloads folder. And so I just clicked on that to open it, and when the f when the file downloads, it's actually in a zip file. So you'll need to first unzip it, and to do that, you just click on Extract All Files. And I actually, some people have a special font folder set up, but I actually just let it let it unzip into the download folder. It doesn't hurt anything. So you just click extract. Alright, so that's extracted now. It's in my downloads folder. I just um, right click there on the font. Um, the one with this little symbol. Um, a lot of times if they have this notebook symbol, it's just something you can read about the font license. And sometimes they'll have, like this one has regular, sometimes it'll have sale bold, sale italic, or something like that. And you always want to install those too because that's better than italicizing or bolding the actual normal font. But 90% of them just have one. So you right click, you just click install. Okay. And I believe that should be installed now. So that's super easy. Um, we're going to go double check in Photoshop to see if it, and you'll see that Photoshop's already open and it'll still install in there. So I'm going to create text box. I mean, this, this works anywhere. It's completely installed on your computer. So I actually have to file open. Um, Word, whatever, whatever place has fonts, it'll work. Okay, it's really tiny file, but whatever. Alright, um, and so I'm going to type something. And we'll go down and see if sale. Right there, it's there. So there you have there you have how to install the font. It's as simple as that. And I'll